All right, let's jump to the next one. The next one is from Tom or Tommy. Um, let me start off by saying thank you. Well, thank you for watching, Tom. Um, I was wondering what would be the best way to create a computer fan grill that would be resizable for different fans. 40 millimeters, 80 millimeters, and so forth. It would be handy to be making custom size filter grills. All right, so uh, for that, I would recommend that you go and check some of the other videos talking about using parameters. Um, I can tell you one way you could do this, and one of them would be using the scale function. I'm gonna show you that. Um, but to actually, I can also show you how you could change the size and how when you measure a computer fan, it's where the four holes are mounted in. But I am not quite sure when it comes to adding uh, more rings. Let's get move on from Dave's example here. So um, let's let's start out by how would I model up a uh, how would I model up a uh, computer grill fan? So what is that? Computer fan grill and maybe dimensions images. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're trying to. Uh, we're gonna model one of something up that looks like this. Um, so I would probably have to think a little bit more about it if, if, if I wanted to, to just change. So you can see how the dimension kind of goes from where those four holes are. Um, if if you just want that to be bigger, that's easy enough. I'm not quite sure if you wanted to add more rings though. Then you might have to be a little bit uh, creative. Maybe somebody. Um, Somebody have an answer in the comments, but let's model one of these up first um, because I think that's a kind of a, a fun uh, exercise. So, um, and then I can show kind of how you can scale it, make it bigger that way. Open up a sketch here, and I'm gonna start with a center rectangle. So S key, center rectangle here. Move that up, and there was one of them that was 80 by 80. Let's do that there. Um, so that's gonna be kind of like where our fall screws are at let's add some rings so c for circle and i'm gonna make the first one to be 90. let's make the next one to be 70 maybe looks pretty good c for circle let's make this one 50. c for circle 30. c for circle this one's gonna be 10 then Right, so you kind of like could do this where you're keeping most of this stuff within within this. Um, okay, I feel pretty good about this. Um, let's go ahead and say C for circle and draw a circle up here. Let's make that 10 millimeters there and do another one C for circle down here. 10 millimeters for there. Okay, um, so we've done that. Maybe what we do I might break things here. I'm gonna go and do a line from there to the center point. Actually, I'm gonna place it out here somewhere in space a little bit off and do that to there. Just so I don't interfere with those construction lines. I don't really wanna move those construction lines. Uh, I'm gonna do a, uh, a fillet between here. Right, I don't know how big I wanna make that fillet. Let's make it five. Okay, now one of the things you will notice is that it's not centered. So I'm gonna create a line from this midpoint to there. So now I have a line, then I can use one of my favorite symmetry constraint. So find that end point and find the end point of that one and select that line. Then it should be symmetrical. Um, and let's do a dimension from here to the center. Here's a cool little trick. If you didn't know, so D for dimension, select the midpoint. If you hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then it will actually find the tangent of that circle, because that's probably how you would normally dimension that. So now that is, is fully defined there. Um, so that is pretty good. Let's, um, I'm gonna just put everything in one sketch here, which might, can cause you a little bit of trouble. I'm gonna trim this section out and I'm gonna trim 
this section up here. And then I'm going to put a fillet in between those. Because if you're looking ever on these computer fans, actually, I got to trim that too, right? If you ever look at those computer fans, um, it's kind of like bent wire somehow, right? That's what I'm trying to assemble, do here. Okay, and I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a radius there to maybe be better. You following me so far? Or is this getting really boring? Okay, um, I think that I just about have everything I need here. Now, it just when I did that, it actually became underdefined. But I want to leave that for right now. So more dimensions, that'll be all good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this sketch for a second. And I'm going to do a construction geometry from this face. And then I'm going to click on uh, to an object over here and select that endpoint. That gives me a plane right there. Create a sketch on that. And uh, if we are lucky, see for circle. Let's make it one and a half millimeters. See for circle and coincident from here to that endpoint right there. Now we should be able to do a sweep where this is the profile, this is the path. See how that give us that right there? If this went too fast, um, you can always go back, rewatch the recording. Um, but that gives us kind of like that shape there. Now all the sketches went away. You just got to turn it back on there in the light bulb over there. Uh, so that is pretty pretty good. Uh, now we could mirror that because that's going to be one on the other side. So we select mirror, not faces. I'm going to select bodies just because I have this one body and the mirror plane is going to be this mirror plane. And then I just kind of like got that there. Now, this is where um, to going back to Tom's kind of question. There's there is some we could probably do something with parameters. We could definitely control uh, this size, right? Because if we go in and look at the parameters right now, um, sketch number one, this 80 right here would control anything. So if I go in here and make this uh, 100, you will see that that moves that out, right? And if I change this to 100, so we can definitely change the size of these two two wires here. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, it's the rings that I'm, I am I haven't, maybe if I thought a little bit more about it, but I can't really figure it out because here is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to create another sketch um, on this plane here. And uh, I might actually have to do a P for project. Check that circle. C for circle, let's do a 1.5 millimeter circle. Let's do coincident between here and here. And then you could do a, um, a rectangular pattern. Select that circle and uh, drag that out and do spacing. And we have 10 millimeters between each of them, right? And we have one five of them. Now that would become um, those circles could you could add more to if you wanted to in the parameters, but I'm not quite sure about the way I'm doing it here with the sweep that wouldn't necessarily I'm not quite sure how to do that. Because see what I'm gonna do now is I could go in here and do that one. Right and do that as a join. Okay. Get that gets back, right click, repeat sweep. Profile is going to be that. With that, make that a join. Right click, repeat sweeping. Just competing, repeating this. Maybe there's a trick that I don't know about to do it as a uh, control it all from the parameters. Right click, repeat sweep, profile there, join. Okay, so that is my, uh, that is my computer fan uh, right there. Um, if 
we're going to look at the body. We have one body in here. So like I said before, if we go back into to change the parameters, let's make this a little shorter here. Move it over a little bit to the side. Look from the top, maybe. Um, if we change this now to 100, you see how these will move, right? Let me change that to 75. Like this is now uh, reacting in parameters. What would be a good way to do it? Um, but one, I can't talk inside at the same time. Um, and we do have that uh, sketch pattern. Sketch pattern down there. You'll see that's the five circles I did. I'm not sure about extending those out. Now what you could do, Tommy, is you could go in now and do a scale, right? And you could select this and you could scale it two times and it'll be twice as big or 1.5 and that will bring it down there. Hmm. All right. Um, I thought it was worth uh, at least if you're wondering how you could draw something up like this. Uh, now, you, <laughs> now, you know, uh, not uh, the full answer there, Tommy, but hopefully, hopefully get somebody to think about how you could do it the other way around. There's got to be a way to do it. Um, if not, so like something in an inventor, we have something like iLogic and there I'm pretty sh certain that you could absolutely, they could absolutely do it, but I'm not quite sure about how to do it in there. Huh. Somebody thumbs up. Thumbs down, comments, give me, give me the answer. All right, let's, um, let's move on here.